To which group of drugs does phenotropal belong? How effective is it? Unlike Fazam, this is a new nootropic. It is a drug that improves brain function, restores brain metabolic processes, improves cognitive function, improves memory, attention, thinking, brain efficiency, and simultaneously improves blood circulation in the brain. The drug is brand new and it is a very interesting drug for us and in practice it gives good results. Will this drug help if the patient has migraines, headaches, ringing in the ears or neurosis? Yes, indeed. The list of symptoms which the drug is used for is quite wide. For example, anxiety disorders, depressive disorders, asthenic disorders, and those disorders where function of the inner ear are affected. Tinnitus or ringing in the ears sometimes happens, not at the expense of serum impaction, and the ENT specialists also understand that this is due to the phenomenon of cerebral circulation disorders. The drug helps to treat these functions, so it is now very widely used in neurology, in the ENT pathology, in psychiatry, and even in geriatrics. You said that phenotropal can increase mental performance. How can it be used before exams, and what would the dosage and regimen be? Young people want to pass their exams well. They try really hard, and so the brain can cope with this heavy workload. We recommend a dose of 100 to 200 milligrams of this drug once a day in the morning. It acts as a stimulant. If it is manufactured, say, in tablets of 100 or 50 milligrams, respectively, we take either 200 milligram tablets or even four 50 milligram tablets once in the morning. So it would take effect during the first half of the day. We want to avoid excitation. We want the brain to be able to cope with the workload and then to recover. And we recommend its use for three, five, or seven days. Its effect is temporary so that children and adolescents can cope with their workload and pass their exams successfully. Phenotropal is also used in sports. How can it benefit athletes? Will it enhance their stamina? Phenotropal's unique feature is that it improves athletes' tolerance to oxygen deficiency. It concerns not only the brain, but all tissues of the body in general. It means that in certain cases, we can see a decrease in body fatigue, and not only in the case of the brain. That's why so many people use this drug in order to improve their performance in competitions. But I can't use phenotropal before competition because it is classified as doping. Why? It's not a drug like amphetamine, after all. International doping commissions include stimulants and psychostimulants in their lists, like mildronate or phenotropal. We do not have the right to recommend its usage to athletes just before a competition. This drug must be excluded from the athlete's preparation to three or four days before the competition to avoid disqualification. Is it true that phenotropal can cure hangovers and even curb alcohol addiction, so it can be used in the treatment of alcoholism? The point is, it improves the body's tolerance to intoxication of the brain and of all the tissues of the body in general so it is much easier to endure the effects of intoxication. Many people use this drug to avoid feeling drunk. They use it to maintain self-control. Such observations occur in narcology, so we know that in order to curb severe withdrawal symptoms and severe intoxication, we can also use this drug in the detoxification treatment. It's also necessary to mention phenotropal's anorexigenic effect, which explains the use of this drug in cases of obesity. It doesn't directly affect the metabolism or endocrine profile, so it is possible to explain the drug's effects to female patients. Due to its particular effect on the body, it reduces appetite. The appetite is reduced without any side effects. You don't struggle with cravings, there is no need to suppress them, the appetite is simply gone. As the activity of the person is increased, patients burn more calories than they consume. This has a double effect. Activity intensifies and appetite is suppressed, which results in weight loss. But like many results, this result was obtained empirically, in a controlled environment under observation. In general, there are many men who smoke, 
and as a result they lose weight. They smoke a lot because of anxiety. Girls, on the contrary, experience carb cravings. They eat bread rolls and cookies, so they gain weight. This is evident in observations of students who use this drug in exam preparation. The use of this drug improves students' performance and helps with weight loss, so it can be recommended for its secondary or tertiary effects. What are the side effects of phenotropin? Since it provokes excitation, it can also intensify symptoms of exacerbation or anxiety in patients with a history of these symptoms. The drug can also disturb the sleeping patterns of people who already suffer from insomnia. Therefore, we recommend taking it in the morning. But if a patient takes it in the afternoon or in the evening, then they guarantee themselves unnecessary excitement. We understand that this can be a complication. If we are talking about complications, we can note that this drug causes change in the vascular tone, which leads to a feeling of heat or warmth. For instance, people feel like their skin is burning, they feel heart palpitations, and in general, they can experience allergic reactions like sweating or swelling. These effects generally subside once the drug is no longer administered, because all of this is due to the effect on the vascular tone and the excitation of the nervous system. After two or three days, the patient's condition is normalized, and you can recommence the treatment, but in slightly smaller doses, so as not to cause vascular reactions or overexcitement of the nervous system. Does this drug cause drowsiness? Can it be used by drivers? It activates, it stimulates, it enhances attention without causing intoxication and it does not affect the coordination of movements. There is no feeling of euphoria or carelessness. On the contrary, the reaction can be accelerated. The reaction to the emergency situation is intensified. Therefore, in general, both in sports and during races, we prescribe this drug during preparation. What are the symptoms of an overdose? Well, there's irritability, aggressive behavior, overexcitement, tics, anxiety, and insomnia. If this condition persists, insomnia generally leads to visual disturbances, such as illusions or even hallucinations. But this is a very rare case, because at the first signs of an overdose, the patient would have his doctor's immediate attention, followed by a reduced dose and temporarily cease the administration of the drug. At what age can children be prescribed this drug? Well, nowadays we hear more and more often that neuropathologists are abusing the prescription of drugs, especially in the case of psychostimulants for children from a very young age. The international trend is that we try to prescribe this drug to this group of patients later, well, preferably from the age of 14 and older, as to assure that young patients will take it in the morning, before lunch, or at least before 3 p.m and we prescribe them a children's dosage, which is 50 milligrams twice a day depending on their condition. In more severe cases, such as paresis or paralysis, then we describe a longer treatment. If it's functional disorders such as apathy or fatigue, then this is a shorter treatment, just for a few weeks. Is it safe to use phenotropyl while pregnant or breastfeeding? This drug is not recommended in these cases. Can you prescribe it if the patient has epilepsy? Phenotropyl provokes excitement. Therefore, it is undesirable to use it in this case. We do not recommend it. This excitement can lead to epileptic seizures. How does phenotropyl interact with neuroleptics and sedatives? Neuroleptics are a group of drugs that reduce pathological brain productivity. These are drugs that deal with intrusive thoughts or damaged perception, and phenotropal, on the contrary, causes excitement. It turns out that it seems to neutralize the effect of neuroleptics, so the combination of these drugs is not entirely understandable or justified. But if this happens, and this can happen when there are two different doctors, that is, say, a neuropathologist and a psychiatrist, then in this case there is literally the neutralization of the neuroleptics. If we are talking about sleeping pills, then, 
In general, the excitement also neutralizes the effect of sleeping pills. There is one important thing, which is that patients avoid self-medication, so that they do not increase their dose of neuroleptics or sleeping pills themselves to avoid overdoses or complications, which unfortunately happens sometimes when, say, we withdraw one drug and we continue to take another drug in larger doses. Well, to sum up, any changes in dosage should be performed on the recommendation and with the permission of the doctor in charge of the case. What is the highest dose of phenotropo? Well, we understand that we do not prescribe the highest dose to every patient, only when it is necessary. So the maximum dose can be up to 800 milligrams. If it is a 100 milligrams tablet, it means that the total daily intake is up to eight tablets. But this applies to rare cases, when there are reasonable indications for increased usage. You said that it's better to take phenotropo in the morning or before lunch. Is that before or after the meal? It's recommended to take phenotropal twice a day after a meal. How quickly does it start to work? The drug begins working in 30 to 40 minutes, and its half-life is observed for 45 to 50 minutes. This means that the onset of the effect of the drug is quite fast. When we're treating fatigue, apathy, anxiety and drowsiness, the drug has a strong effect, and it is very effective during the morning and in the afternoon. The effect manifests in approximately 45 minutes, but how long do the effects last for? The effect lasts for around 10 to 12 hours, so it is imperative that it is not taken in the evening or directly before bed. How long is the duration of treatment? Normally, it's anywhere from two or three weeks to two or three months, depending on the pathology. Is phenotropal addictive? No, there is no addiction. The drug is not addictive, but medical prescription is required. So it's impossible to buy phenotropal without a prescription? It is impossible, because the drug is active, and it either enhances or neutralizes the effect of other drugs. So it is included in a group that can only be bought with a prescription. Can you stop taking phenotropal abruptly? The drug affects the central nervous system and blood vessels. So it is recommended to use the drug in its full course of treatment. So we want to increase or reduce the dose gradually. Are there any analogues of this drug? There is an analog. It's carfidin. As this drug can be more affordable, we also recommend it for prescription. <laughs>